really good excuse this time. Ah, right. Like all the others. What's that supposed to mean? The target of the podcast. My brain. German and measles. Rat tiger. Moving on. Heat and tea. Ah, oh, that was mine. That was Janice. You both.
Okay. We're all having a great time this evening, ladies and gentlemen. But unfortunately, like all the things, the night has come to an end. So we all put your hands together for KG, Moonshine Man, Heathcliff, and the Fallen Angels. Remember, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So it's good night for me, the fabulous, phenomenal Terry G. What's wrong with it? 
with the white stick in the lab, we don't get it away. <laughs> Are you coming? No, I'm gonna stay here and uh, James come back in a little while. Well, I'm gonna have a black and kids. Not too much to ask, is it?
with you and your chain always made a great couple. And you must throw all that light on the tree. But, Jack, you must not think about what you're doing in life. Who to and who for? Brother?
example? Obviously. Well, what is meaning in that? Action Listen, honey, I don't need some rhythm. Won't the men in the white coats be looking for you? <laughs> what is a life for it? Perhaps you should consider a career in stand-up. Is it a longing for one in the music industry? How do you know that? I know everything in your tiny little mind. I know you think you're so tall, dark, and handsome. And then you go and strip down to your white room, switch on your record player, and sing along to your very narrow line. Isn't it? That's not true. Well, not every night. Then you slide into the covers and wonder why you can't be on the stage. A door by women, a sad hat, a flash of your What would you think if I told you I have the power to give you all this and much, much more? I'm talking about you taking control of your destiny. You really don't believe me, do you? No. I mean, come on. You don't exactly look like a devil. You know, what do you want? Little tap? Pitchfork? Please! That's so trick or treat!
I'm a very good drive, thanks. Only last week, some compliments about my drive. They left a little note on my windscreen, and it said, parking, fine. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> hey, listen, guys. <coughs> what do you think? Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely offer, but you're not my kind. <laughs> it's for Jane, you idiot. I'm going to ask her to marry me. Tonight, in here. What? In the crackers? No, you idiots! Not in the crappers! Well, it's, it's about time, isn't it? We've known each other for six years. Aren't you guys going to wish me good luck? But what about your freedom? What about it? I'm asking her to marry me, not tie a box and let her hurl me in the Brisbane River. <laughs> but I thought you said... Never mind what I said, alright? Look, mate. It's really pleased to but I've got to get back behind those decks for Duke goes nuts. So have you and Tom? No. no. We talked about it. Talked about it. I just don't want things to happen too fast. Too fast? You've been with him for six years and you haven't even kissed him yet. When it happens, I want it to be special. What about that, has he? No. He still hasn't told me he loves me. I mean, every time the subject comes up, I think he tries, but he just can't get the words out. He screws up his face like he's in agony or something. <laughs> I mean, I know he loves me, but who does not hear him say it? I don't know what it is about you. All the birds seem to fancy you. And for what? It's been the same ever since we were little kids. Come on, tell us a few tips on how to go in the birds. Okay, okay, come on. Now I want to pretend there's a lady bike right behind Go! Hey, hey, go! <laughs>
she managed to convince the manager of Festival Hall to come and see the gig tonight. Just think about the names of the headline there. The face of the world is Marsha Hyde, Mark Holden. We did remember we're going out after the gig tonight for my parents for dinner. I, I can't tonight. I'm sorry. Lady Mumway asked me to meet with her to discuss the plans. But the table didn't look for Mark. You can't expect someone like Lady Marmalade to make plans months in advance. We can have dinner with your parents another night. Another night? Jack, you promised. I have been waiting for this opportunity my entire life. But you of all people would just be a little more supportive? Then come in what? Dressed on a disco in front of her, the joy's really jumping inside, and it looks like it's going to be a nice room as well.
This evening is a very, very special evening, ladies and gentlemen. We have a young man and a very, very good friend of mine making his debut performance here at Disco Inferno. So, Jack, don't forget who your friends are. You're big, rich, and famous, ladies and gentlemen. Remember what you saw him first. Jack and the Fallen Angels! Right. 
we can go in thirds of the time. Loads of gamma girls. Take any man money ever earned in that four zeros. So, you're playing the first of all TV? Yes, of course you're. What do you think? A bit rough around the edges. Why? What's that supposed to mean? But I'm sure it was got up nicely. There's nothing to play cans to work on. You watch it! When it comes to the music industry, style and image is everything. You won't find it that just to ask your advice. It's true. I'm pop music, pop music, baby. <laughs>
must know. I didn't just come up to anyone. I've been waiting my whole life for the right guy to come along. And I'm the right guy? No, I'm just simply waiting. No, relax. Relax, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Relax. Jack Flash on the stage, please. Jack Flash on the stage. I gotta go. I'm ready, ready. Well, hello there. How are you all doing this evening? You all having a good time? Yeah. Oh, come on, that's pathetic. I said you all having a good time? Yeah. Good. That's more like it. And have we got a great show for you tonight? A monster show. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, please put your hands together to give a nice, warm festival hall welcome to the Rocking Rebel himself, the one, the only, Jack Brown.
Jackson's latest wife, at New Australian disco sensation Jack Flash, raised a storm of protest as Jackson's entourage arrived in Melbourne today. Many attribute the Jackson 5's lower than anticipated ticket sales for their current Australian tour to the stunning debut success of Flash. You're listening to Double J Radio and that was Australia's new glamour boy, Jumpin' Jack Flash with Disco Is My Middle Name. Currently screaming up the charts of the bullet and the fourth hit single off his debut album, I Disco. And speaking of bullets, this one ain't. Flash's current sidekicks, the Moonshine Band, are discovering that the world of side projects is a tough market to crack. The current hillbilly experiment, I've got a brand new combine harvester, has just hit the top 100. Eight weeks after its release. It's the Muppet Show! Very special guest star, Jack Flash! I'm Jack Flash, here to tell you about Colgate Extra White. Brush twice a day with Colgate Extra White for that winning smile. If you don't brush with Colgate Extra White, you won't have a smile as pretty as mine. Peace out. And the TV Week Logie Award for Best Pointless Rockstar Cameo Appearance in a Soapy, Children's Cartoon or Sports Halftime Report is... Jack Flash! Bitch. 
or get your dog to keep quiet. There was something telling me that you were me. Come on now, darling, you got something I need. Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres and you got 43. Molly's flash back to the future. The scary monsters with Disco Inferno. We tip this to be a big hit in about 17 years. Just listen! Now I know why you don't tell me about it. 
So I'm kind of there's nothing going on between you two. And like a bit, I believe. Well, there isn't. I mean, there wasn't. I just, I know you should go. I knew this would happen. Now I'm about to see you for weeks. Jane, you've got it all wrong. The only thing I got wrong was agreeing to marry you. Here.
as if I haven't heard that before. I mean it this time. Just look at you. Come on, Kathy. You're getting all same job. It's just like the old days. When you, me, get to the world. Goodbye, Chris. I made you what you are, Kathy. Depressed? Lonely? Why don't you stick around so long? I loved you. Or at least, I thought I did. That was until I found out who you really are. And what's that? What's the point of it? I mean, I tried to look on your back, no open arms. Show your country business is more your style. I don't need you. I never did. Jack was
I was miserable. I couldn't stop thinking about Jane. I'd done everything romantic that you could think of. I'd sent her flowers. I'd sent her chocolates. Don't you tell anyone this, but what? I even serenaded her outside her window. She could have just thrown the water onto me. But I'm not. Down came the whole kettle. <laughs> I'd taken my chances right into one of these romantic radio shows. You're tuning to Ready One, Dow Homer, and Troubles of the Heart. We're going to kick off the purpose time with a letter from a young man. Purpose in love with a girl. Let's call her Jane. Well, that's her name, isn't it? This romance, this world romance started almost seven years ago when a couple met us son of the Yelton cinema. Now, in most good things, that romance has sadly come to an end. But not for Jack, though. He still thinks about Jane all the time. And it sounds to me like he's sorry. Sorry for being an egotistical, self-centered, arrogant loser. I have a bloody well worth that! So Jane, if you listen, pick up the phone and give him a call. But not until a baby's dedication to you. Now, it looks like something has been spilt on the letter, and a bottom part is hard to read. But folks, I think I can just make it out. So here, Jane, especially from Jack to you, the rules are in. I got a brand new combine harvester. Jane? Jack? Have you been? Fine, I guess. You didn't return any of my calls? Did you honestly expect me to? Come on, don't be like that. We had some good times, didn't we? I can make it up to you. I promise.
Things could be worse. I really saw. How exactly could they be worse? Well, at least she's dating one of your best mates and not a complete stranger. Shut up! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, mate. Just Miss Jane, that's all. I know you do, man. If I could just talk to her, like, tell her everything's gonna be alright. <sighs> Maybe one day. Listen, you're picking up Max tonight, aren't you? Yeah. You wouldn't mind uh, dropping me off at Jane's place on the way? I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe you should just leave it for You don't want to go to Jane's place and end up saying something you'll regret. Oh, you're right, you talk! Definitely. <laughs> you should get some rest, and I'll call back in the morning. Thanks, man. That's all right. What a friend's book. I told you I'd always be there for you. Thanks for the end. To the very end, man. Listen, good luck tomorrow. Have a good night. Have you done your usual checks? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Must have been the cheese and onion chips I had. What am I going to do? Tonight of all nights! You wouldn't happen to have any mouthwash or breakfast. <laughs> Jack Flash has been injured in a freak accident that has shocked the nation. Eyewitnesses reported confirmed that the Ridge 76 Ford Capri, driven by Flash, was traveling at incredibly high speeds when it seemingly lost control of the roundabout. The vehicle, belonging to singer's lifelong friend Tom Evans, who was also traveling in the car, then careered headlong into a tree. Both men have been rushed to a local hospital, and their injuries this time are unknown. We'll bring you more news on this tragic incident as the story develops. And here's a great trip for you all out there enjoying this hot summer's evening. The devil's loose and stalking this town. It's the crazy world of Arthur Brown.
you're going to trust the soul of our brother to God's merciful people. We now commit this body to the world. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>
Well, that's our story. I told you it was weird. We never, <laughs> we never did see Heathcliff ever again. Now, there might be a story that you want some of us. Be careful what you wish for. One day, it might just come true. Peace out!